What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Marlon. We are back at it again with another edition of the show. So if this is your first time tuning in, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that post notification bell so you never miss out on the daily updates that we have in the land of PlayStation and Xbox. If that is something that intrigues you, then this is the place for you. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, today is April 1st, 2024, brand new month. And also, yeah, it is the first day of the month for April Fools, right? So no April Fools around here because I just feel like that stuff is just lame at the end of the day. So we ain't got time for any of that shenanigans today, okay? Now, there's a lot of stuff that's obviously floating around, and we're getting closer and closer to the end game now in terms of June. And June is always the end game month for me because that's when a lot of the showcases and events, Summer Game Fest, uh, Ubisoft, EA, a lot of the publishers and stuff typically have their events around that time. So we're getting closer and closer and closer uh to events time right and not only that too we also are getting closer to the playstation 5 pro uh you know official reveal announcement for the system specs price release date all those information but today we're going to be digging into uh more of the games uh enhanced boost technology uh that the ps5 pro is going to be having and similar to the ps4 pro with the enhanced label on the box where if you look at uh, the back of a uh, ps4 box and if it was patch for ps4 pro then you will see the ps4 pro uh label or enhance for ps4 pro similar to the the situation that we're going to be talking about today with the actual playstation 5 pro here also we're going to be touching up on the playstation 2 i've always said that the playstation 2 is a legendary console it's a console that i grew up playing and what made the ps2 so great was a library of games not just first party but a mixture of all second and third party right a lot of people say there were more third parties on ps2 than they were first party and so obviously ps2 have the largest library of games to date and for the longest time we heard that the ps2 was hovering around 155 million sold and now we're actually hearing you know it's higher than that which is literally insane and so the switch obviously came close i mean with what 135 million or something like that uh so ps2 is still the best home console ever made at this point and um you know sony they they have a a big shoes to fill when it comes to the playstation 5 uh jim ryan obviously is out now uh and he retired i really do appreciate the good things that he has done for playstation and i'm pretty sure sony feels the same way there were some downsides to jim ryan's leadership um around the <clears throat> ps5 generation right obviously and yeah you know he did uh leave some very good valuable information when it comes to the playstation 5 hardware in terms of you know it being the most successful console for sony and things of that nature also there are some games on the horizon uh that we need to talk about as well because as you guys can know this is the 30th year anniversary of playstation and there's a lot of games um that is going to get revealed this year via ps5 showcases um now i said showcases because i do believe that there's going to be a separate uh ps5 showcase going over games for ps5 pro or in some way shape or form some sort of demonstration on how these games are going to look and play and the boost of uh, capabilities that we're going to be getting similar to what the series x is actually doing in terms of the fps boost and what have you which i think is very very cool when you really sit down and think about it right because that was something that microsoft was already taking advantage of when it came down to a lot of the older games and the performance of of the older games was just really spectacular on the series x so yeah i know a lot of people will sit there and say well yeah you know 
the Series X is not being pushed and things of that nature. And I'll agree with you there. But something that I think Microsoft really shined in is the area where the FPS boost was taken advantage when it comes to the older games like HDR, uh, tone mapping, um, you know, boosting up the imagery of the game and also with the resolution side of things. I mean, things just looked almost night and day different. Not only that also, but the FPS as well. So I guess it's safe to say that we could see some level of polish or some level of... Um, technology increase when it comes to a lot of these games at least older games that we have already played before and could be running on the pro a lot better also we're going to be talking about silent hill 2 remake now we did get a uh, official rating on that uh, and it seems as though that that game is going to be dropping like really 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 soon so more details on that for you guys also i did want to touch up on something which i think a lot of us already know now i did talk about the leadership uh segment of um sony right and i've always said like that's something that's very very important when it comes to the leadership and i think overall a lot of people have been telling me that well you know whoever leads playstation after this they better do a really good job uh because it's very critical at this point and obviously right now as we speak with jim ryan going out the door as of march 31st what what was that yesterday or something as of today which was what march 31st right or no april 1st um as of today hiroki kotoki has assumed the role of interim CEO of PlayStation, Sony Interactive Entertainment. Mr. Totoki will work with Sony uh, CEO, Mr. Yoshida, and the management team of SIE to define the next chapter of PlayStation's future. So, yeah, things is about to get real at PlayStation, guys. I'm telling you, Oroki Gotoki does not play around. I don't know if you guys have seen this man coming in and doing a lot of, you know, cleaning, but this stuff is really about to change. And I really hope that it changed for the better, because like I said, this is 2024. There's a lot of games that came out this year um, so far and last year that is just really, really not cutting it. You know what I mean? And I've talked about Rise of the Ronin. I think Rise of the Ronin looks good in a certain vein if that makes sense like it's not cutting edge graphics but the graphics is kind of decent i guess the color palettes and certain things that they use like certain areas do look good and certain areas just look like eh but i really want to see what the pro can do man this is probably why i guess i will be generally excited about a pro is because the actual technology behind the pro, which is we talked about on this channel numerous times, which is the PSSR technology, the PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution technology, similar to DLSS and FSR. And that's what I'm excited about. I'm excited about that technology and how it can make the current games that we are playing right now look even better. And let me tell y'all something. Oh boy. So I've been playing more Stellar Blade. Okay, I've been playing the demo. I a lot of you dudes know I played the demo on stream before, and I'm excited about Stellar Blade. I feel like Stellar Blade is one of those games that really showed you shows you what the PS5 can do. Um, it it looks good. It looks really really good. Um, I love I love the the actual color palette of the game, like like the the textures and. The character models look really good. The environment looks decent. Um, it, it, it definitely shows you what the PS5 can do. Not only that, but in terms of performance, like, I mean, it's running at 60. And there's like three different performance modes similar to Rise of the Ronin. And obviously, you know, I prioritize uh, performance over resolution. You guys already know that. Uh, but I went with the 60. Uh, performance mode and my god it looked it looked good still looked good performed really well i mean i was getting easily 60 frames and everything was running really really well i also try to tell you guys to buy tvs and monitors with vrr support because that stuff helps a lot vrr helps a lot considering the ps5 can take advantage of vrr i highly highly recommend my audience to invest 
into more VRR panels. Um, that way, a lot of these games, you know, in the future might not give you the frame rates that you do want. But if you do have VRR support, then you should be on the right track because it definitely does help out. But man, Stellar Blade is just one of those games that if you are somebody that, and I'm not talking about all the drooling and the yams and all this nonsense that everybody's, I'm not talking about all that. I'm talking about from a gameplay perspective. Um, the game is pretty well balanced and um, I was getting more and more used to the actual controls of Stellar Blade and I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I love, I just love the way how the game runs on the PS5. And so hopefully as you know, the game comes out and things of that nature, they have time to polish the game. The game is coming out in another, what, 25 days. I mean, this month is very short to begin with. So they have more and more time shift up, have more time to, um, you know, iron out any bugs or any glitches or anything like that. But I will say that a game like Stellar Blade will definitely take advantage of the pro, right? Um, I know a lot of developers, well, not a lot, but some of them at GDC said, oh, there's no need for a pro. But when you're lazy, when you when you are a lazy developer or you're a lazy company, yeah, you do deserve to be called out. You see what I'm saying? And you do deserve a pro because it's like, okay, if you're not taking advantage of the hardware, I mean, what are you waiting on? Like Armageddon? I don't know what you're waiting on. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's time. It's time now to fully utilize hardware. And maybe what we have seen here over time is a lot of these developers typically wait until like the ending of the life cycle of consoles to really, really push the consoles to their act to their to their limits. Um, also, and, 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 and this is something that uh, I want to touch up on as well. And this is this is offering great value. I know some people are going to get mad at me for this, but I don't care, okay? Because I don't have time for the fanboy stuff and the toxic stuff and the back and forth nonsense. You guys know me. I don't have time for it, okay? Now, Sony putting their games on PC, man, let me say this. Horizon, you, some of you dudes already know what I'm talking about right now, okay? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to kind of change the wheel on the channel a little bit, so expect more PC like content on the channel coming forward. Um, I am going to have I already gotten hit up by a few companies, but I'm going to dig in more PC content and stuff like that uh, on the channel. So that's like monitors, PC bills, stuff like that I used to do. But that's besides the point. We are in the end game segment now of technology. I know a lot of people like are stuck in between quantum dot oled tvs mini led tvs and oled monitors mm. okay i think y'all know where i'm going with this i don't know if you guys have been paying attention to ces 2024 but holy mother of god bro let me tell y'all this there are some set of monitors that are dropping right now. You PC dudes know what I'm talking about, which I have to upgrade because all the crap I have right now is at least five years old at this point or going on five years old. And I have to upgrade. But let me tell you this, man. Mm. There is this monitor called the Asus. What is it called? Pete, I, I don't know why they have all these numbers. <laughs> I don't know why they have all these numbers. Did you watch the FF7 Rebirth documentary on YT? Nah, I didn't get to see it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I didn't get to see it. Uh, thank you so much for the $2. No, I didn't get to watch that. There are some monitors that are called the endgame monitors. Okay. Now, the, Marlon, why are you talking about this? I'll pump your brakes. I'll tell you why I'm talking about this. And I'm going to show you on screen right now what I'm talking about. This monitor right here. This is what everybody is calling the end game monitor, okay? Or monitors. People have been waiting for years for monitors like this. We're talking about 4K, 240 hertz OLED monitors, all right? Quantum Dot, listen to this. You have W OLED monitors, okay? White OLED monitors, and then you have Quantum Dot. This TV back here is a Quantum Dot OLED TV. 
insane. The contrast, the colors just really, really pop. Like insane. I mean, you have to see it in person. The downside to OLED is it doesn't do well in lit rooms. So you have to have it in a very dark room. Let me tell you, a lot of you dudes that have been rocking with me from, I don't know, five years ago at this point when the PS5 was even rumored to be coming out and things of that nature. And a lot of you guys remember when I bought my C10 on stream, thanks to the community at the time for donating because I was like, man, I never had a OLED TV before and I was still rocking a regular LCD TV. And, and everybody was like, no, Marlon, we're going to make sure you get that TV. And that TV literally changed my life when it comes to technology. And I still have my C10 in my bedroom right now. And it's a joy to watch on. And obviously, you know, the windows, I keep the windows locked and stuff like that to keep the lights off the screen. But man, the C10, now we're at what? C3 or whatever the heck. The the I, I kind of stopped digging into too much of the TVs um, with, with LG, but... The reason why I'm bringing this up, guys, is that this monitor, this particular monitor right here is having everybody going crazy right now. It's the ROG Swift um, OLED PG32 UCDM. I don't know these letters after the names of these monitors. This monitor is $1,300. And let me tell you, it's worth every $1,300 of that monitor. LG is also coming out with another monitor too. I believe, uh, obviously, that has some names right. I mean, some letters right next to it as well. And I promise, I'm a promise, I'm gonna make it make sense with the PlayStation stuff. Just, just rock with me, okay? Let me pull this up now. This is available for pre-order right now. So it's called the 32-inch Ultra Gear OLED monitor. And guess what? This has a dual mode, okay? So it's the first monitor where you can actually push a button. And you could switch from 1080p, 480 hertz, or if you want 4K, 240 hertz. Oh, my God. Now, I need y'all to listen to me right, right, right now carefully, okay? And also, it has the same speaker technology as my C10 where the speakers are behind the screen. And I think they call it like pixel sound. You guys owe it. The reason why I'm telling my audience this, you owe it to yourselves, some of y'all dudes, computer dudes, uh, computer releases, uh, PC master race dudes, you know what I'm already talking about, the end game monitors. Alienware have another one too. It's the same quantum dot screen that Samsung makes. Um, that one is like twelve or $1,300, somewhere in that. I think it's $1,200 for that monitor. Same quantum dot OLED monitors. Listen. I saw Horizon Forbidden West. I told y'all I'm going to make sense. And I'm going to show you what the monitors look like in a second. I saw Horizon Forbidden West running on the Asus monitor. Okay? And, <laughs> oh my God. If you thought, and I, I'm going somewhere with this, I promise. If you thought it looked good on PS5, this particular this particular build pc build was obviously a 14900k processor and it was a it was running with a 4090 and let me tell you the colors because it's oled and because it's the third generation of that technology the the quantum dot technology that they're using man when I say Horizon Forbidden West is by far the best looking PC game I have ever seen in my life. I mean, I'm not talking about no PC mods or nothing. Dudes, I'm telling you, this might sound scary. This is the end game. This is the end game time that we're in right now. When I played Horizon, shout outs to PlayStation for sending me the game in for review. When I got Horizon Forbidden West and I played it on this TV, <laughs> oh man, oh, my jaw was on the floor. My jaw was on, I was like, golly. And I was playing Burning Shores as well. And Burning Shores, for a lot of dudes who don't know, Burning Shores is the DLC for Horizon Forbidden West. It looked better than Forbidden West. And it looked amazing on this Samsung Quantum Dot uh, 
OLED TV, okay? Amazing. Uh, this TV back here is not mini LED because we know mini LED is good and it's close to OLED, sometimes better in certain areas when it comes to contrast and colors. But you know with um, mini LED, you have blooming and, and things of that nature with the text and stuff. But OLED is just gives you those perfect blacks, those perfect colors, those punchy colors, especially when it's glossy, right? When the panel is glossy, which typically all the TVs are just glossy to begin with. But my God, if you have not played Horizon Forbidden West on PC, I don't know what you're doing. This is where I find PC value really shine like through the roof and the ps5 pro make make no mistake the ps5 pro is going to be that middle ground it's going to be the perfect middle ground between pc and console gaming yes we know the cpu is the same yes we know um in terms of raw power and things of that nature it's really going to be boiling down to the pssr and things of that nature right we heard things about rdna4 uh ray tracing and blah 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 and all this and that besides all the tech talk the ps5 pro is just going to be in insane okay in terms of what the pssr is going to do i feel like the pssr is going to be crazy Salute all. Marlon Jamal asked you in the chat, where is your mustache? <laughs> Just remember to remember, keep the mustache. Marlon is numero uno with mustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like changing it up sometimes. But yeah. <laughs> My wife said the same thing. We went to church yesterday and she's like, wait a minute. You shaved the mustache? I was like, wait a minute. You look 20. I was like, oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> she was like, you look really, really young with without that mustache. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> She's like, you got a baby face. I was like, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, yeah, I digress. Yeah, I get that all the time. Anytime I, I shave, yeah, I get that a lot. And no matter where I go, strangers walk up to me like, the heck? I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> but I'm glad you guys noticed. Appreciate that. Yeah, I cut my own hair and stuff, so I, I, I grew myself. I appreciate you guys on that. All right, let's get back into the huddle. So thank you all for that. So the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying right now is if developers are not lazy when it comes to PS5 Pro, when it comes to the upscaling technology, and they find a way to fully utilize that upscaling technology, monitors like what I'm about to show you guys right now. Take a look. So let's show you guys the first one right here. OK, that's the first one I want you all to pay attention to. Look at this monitor. It's available for pre-order right now. OK, this right here, my friends, if you buy this for your PS5 Pro, you're going to thank me later. Buy this. Start pre-ordering this right now for your PS5 and your PS5 Pro. Whether you buy the Pro or not, you owe it to yourself if you are somebody who is not big on TVs or anything like that if you're if you're not big on tvs or you're not big on um you know bigger screens and you want to play your ps5 at your desk or something this thing right here the 32 inch ultra gear oled dual mode monitor i'm telling you guys 4k 240 hertz granted there's not a lot of games right now that's going to take advantage of this monitor on pc but what you're doing is you're future proofing yourself. The fact that you can you you can push a button and switch to that 1080p 480 hertz mode, you stop playing, guys. I'm telling you, when it comes to competitive games like Call of Duty, um, Fortnite, Counter Strike, all those type of games, Battlefield, that 1080p 480 hertz mode on this monitor. You are going to love it. The fact that you don't need two monitors, you don't need a, a 400 or 500 and something hertz monitor. It's all in one, 480 hertz or 4K at 240 hertz OLED. It does come with warranty for those of you who are worried about that. I think it has a two-year warranty now. There's a little bit of a, a, a debate on um, if it's going to have um, the burn-in coverage, which I called LG myself to kind of confirm that. But 
if you guys are going to buy the Pro, for those elite PlayStation fans that are going to be buying the Pro, or you guys are going to be building a PC, get this monitor and thank me later, okay? I will not be coming on here right now recommending this. No, I'm not getting paid by LG. No, they didn't sponsor me or anything like that. You guys know I love technology and I'm, 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 I'm a technology channel, right? But this type of stuff you need for your PS5 Pro and you need for your PC. Thank me later on that. The next monitor, oh, this is the first end game monitor. You ready? Here it is right here. All right, I promise we're going to start the show. Just hold on to your seats. This is the next end game monitor right here, okay? This is the ROG, and I love I love the 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 um the aesthetics of um Asus products. I don't know why, I just love the design elements of this. But if you can get your hands on this is sold out right now. You can't get this anywhere. All of this stuff is sold out except for the LG monitor which you can pre-order. But this is the ROG Swift um OLED PG32 UCDM. Holy freaking cow. Now, the, the downside to the LG is that it does not come with Type-C. What the heck were they smoking? What the heck is LG smoking? Not putting a Type-C uh, port on the actual monitor because Type-C makes it very easy for you to hook up your laptop or hook up whatever else you want to hook up to the actual monitor with just one cable. This has a 90-watt Type-C um, charging capability as well. So that's really, really cool. Guys, this monitor, when you buy this and you play your PS5 on it or your PC on it or your PS5 Pro, you will, will thank me later. This is called the end game monitor. Are you looking at all this stuff right now? Third gen QD OLED technology, third gen quantum dot OLED technology. Insane. So you got your custom heat sinks. Listen to me very carefully. Do not buy a monitor with a fan for the cooling system. Learn from my mistake. I have two monitors right now that I'm that I, that you guys are watching me on right now that I'm working off of right now, and it's the LG GP 950B. Okay, those monitors have fans in them. After a certain amount of time, those fans kick on and they can get really loud. The cool part about this ROG Swift is that it has a custom heat sink. So you don't have to worry about um, fans kicking in or anything like that. It can get rid of the heat very, very nice without no noise or anything like that. Plus you have the OLED care on there. Plus you have Dolby Vision, okay? You have Dolby Vision, something that the LG doesn't have. So you have Dolby Vision support on this monitor, all right? And then you do have the Type-C right cable i mean uh port on there that time and plus you have a three-year burning warranty with this so you're telling me you dudes that are pc gaming right now buying a lot of playstation games you guys know that playstation games look incredible on pc from days gone to horizon forbidden west ghost of tsushima is about to look crazy you guys are going to thank me later spider-man 2 all these games that are going to pc you need this monitor if you can get this monitor, get the LG, but I would recommend you getting this monitor because you're getting Dolby, uh, Dolby Vision support, which is going to be patched in later down this year. Guys, these, these are the end game monitor. You need to get this monitor right now. With PS5 Pro on the horizon, start finding a way to get a, get, get a hold of this monitor. I'm telling you guys, Y'all going to thank me later. <laughs> Look at that. Dolby Vision firmware coming soon. So they're going to be updating it uh, very, very soon. I'm telling you, things are going to look so crisp, sharp. I mean, just vivid, especially with the Pro with the upscaling technology. Not only that, too, but you also have the upscaling technology um, from the PS5 Pro that's going to take advantage of this monitor. Not only that, but you do have a uh, 20, 20, uh, four inch you know, basically, um, what you, what, what's the word? Uh, the different screen sizes. So you have 24 inch and you also have 27 inch in the same monitor, but you're just going to have some black bars around, uh, the actual screen and things of that nature. Check this out. You have VRR. This is why I'm gearing it towards you guys. You console dudes, not just PC dudes, but you console dudes. It has VRR. It has G sync. It has AMD free sync, 
uh, Premium Pro, and it has adaptive sync all in one. You see what I'm saying? Yes, it's $1,300, but you guys spend $1,300 on iPhones. So I'm just saying, not all, but some of y'all. So this is so future-proof. You buy this monitor and you are set, like literally set, because it gets no better than OLED and 4K 240 hertz, okay? It gets no better. It literally gets no better than this. So I just wanted to highlight this for you guys before we get off started uh, starting in the show today. And these are the end game monitors, man, that 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 are dropping. Obviously, uh, Oris, I think they have another one um, drop in this year. Uh, there's another version to this monitor with the dual um, resolution mode as well. Man, oh man, oh man, you can't buy a PS5 Pro without this monitor or you can't build a PC without that particular monitor. All right, so I just had to show you guys the new tech, the new technology uh, that is dropping right in front of our eyes. If you're buying a Pro or if you're building a PC or you're playing a lot of PC games, you, you need that OLED. I'm sorry, mini LED is, is nice, but OLED just, oh my God. I, I'm just, I'm telling you, Horizon Forbidden West, Burning Shores looked insane. I mean, like, I'm like, 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 what PS5 are we talking about right now? Forget about the PS5. Dog, when I saw Horizon Forbidden West <laughs> running on PC, I was losing it. I was like, wait, what? 4K over 120 FPS. Wow. <laughs> and it looked amazing like you could see the moss like you could see everything like the 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 bugs like everything flying around like it just looks so real and i'm telling you it already looked amazing on the actual playstation 5 but can you imagine guys how a lot of these first party games that are currently in development are going to look and play on the playstation 5 and the playstation 5 pro you need a screen to play this stuff on. That's why I brought the monitors. You need, people ask me monitor recommendations all the time. And I'm sorry I didn't have a, a, a tag product in, in this. Uh, that's something new YouTube is doing now where you can tag products. I'll start tagging stuff that I recommend because I, a lot of people ask me, oh, what, what products do you recommend? What is your setup like? And I used to have that stuff like years ago and people bought off like, you know, the links and stuff. But man, technology guys are getting better and better it's these lazy developers i just want to stop being lazy and keep up with the technology keep up with monitors like this start dropping some games that really take advantage of of, of these hardware that we're having right now not only that but i also want to highlight another couple of things as well we know sony first party studios and what they're capable of right and another game that I, I would say definitely, and another development studio that I love is Remedy. Guys, listen to me. Listen to me, man. Alan Wake. Alan Wake 2. No, not Alan Wake. Alan Wake 2. <laughs> Woo, boy. That, that game, every time I play Alan Wake 2, every time I fire up Alan Wake 2 and I look at Alan Wake 2 and I'm like, man, great time to be alive. I need you guys to understand what I'm saying. Some of y'all probably don't understand what I'm saying right now. Alan Wake 2 looks insane. Gameplay, graphics, character models, insane. Okay? On PC, insane. On the Series X with the Dolby Vision. Ah. Listen, man. Not all developers are lazy, guys. Where are you getting at, Marlon? Not all developers are lazy. Remedy is one of them that are not lazy. When I, they're some of the greatest developers. You see what I'm saying? They really dial in and give you just every single thing. And my whole thing is like, these monitors is going to show you what the developer intended for you to see. You see what I'm saying? Whether it's console gaming, whether it's PC gaming, whatever the case may be, like, Man, get ready. That's all I got to say. We done. Get ready. We getting into the topics now. We done talking about technology for right now because you guys think this year, I'm t as we get into 
next year, CES 2025. I'm really wondering the TVs that we're going to have, the monitors. Guys, I need y'all to think ahead because GTA 6, listen, last thing I'm going to say, get your, get your hearts ready. Let me get my heart monitor on right now because y'all think this is a joke, okay? Let's get ready. Let's get hyped. Let, let's get hype just for one second, okay? I need y'all to get hype just for one second. Just for one second. All right. I need y'all to get hype. Come on. Let me get let me see some fire emotes in the chat. <laughs> let me see some fire emotes in the chat. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, I'm doing it. Come on. Come on. Let's get hype. It's too dead up in here. Come on. Hit that like button. Come on. 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 Here we go, here we go, here we go. Listen to me right now, wherever you are, listen to me. You can laugh if you want. Next year, it's about to get sicker with technology. Next year, if all goes well with GTA 6, if you think that companies are positioning themselves right now, for what's to come, right? Which is GTA 6. I need y'all to think about the 50 series car. Oh my God. Oh my God. Listen, listen, listen. 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 Mm, 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 mm. I need y'all to hear me out right now. The 50 series cards that are going to get revealed later this year going into 2025. Oh my god. The new monitors, the new TVs that are going to drop in CES 2025 is going to be bananas. All these companies, Asus, um Alienware, I mean Dell with the Alienware brand, uh MSI, all these companies are going to be gearing up for GTA 6. Okay? And I am telling you guys, if you can afford it, if you can afford it, get on board because PC gaming is getting better and better and better and better. Bro, I remember like 20 years ago, like, no, actually 28 years ago when I started gaming on PC, 28 years ago when I started gaming on PC. And I'm telling you guys, back then it was a different time than now. But man, to see PC gaming on the rise like this, to see Sony and Microsoft continuing to put their games on PC even further, man, oh man, guys, I'm excited. I'm, I'm literally hyped because you know what? You get to have, you know, there's no need for console wars. When you're at your house or your apartment or wherever you live at and you have the best of both worlds, right, where you have your console and you have your PC, you cannot lose, you cannot, because you are winning. You are just one of those select few people that are fortunate to have a PC with a 4090. People don't understand how good they got it. You see what I'm saying? You don't understand how really good you got it when you have a 4080 or a 4090 or a 3080 or a 3090 or whatever card you do have and you can run games decently. You don't understand how good you have it and you also have your console which you can carry around in your, anywhere in your house as you know as you as you see fit but I I want to I want to gear you guys towards the future and I want to gear you guys towards Sony next year and what they're going to be doing with a lot of their existing franchises and these games are so long deep into the oven right now the only thing is is perfection Microsoft with Matt Booty they say they have like 10 games 10 plus games in development between this year and next year. That's dropping. We <laughs> Listen, man. Can you imagine Hellblade 2 on PC? <laughs> if you're, listen, listen, listen. I'm a gamer first. I don't have time for the shenanigans. Listen, can you imagine Ninja Theory? I, man, I'm telling you, that was a steal by Microsoft. Microsoft buying Ninja Theory, that was a good move. Just like um, Sony buying uh, uh, Insomniac, that was one of the goat, one of the best move, goat move, goaded move that Sony could ever make. But listen to me when I tell you this. 
Man, oh man, oh man. Can you imagine Hellblade 2 on PC? I, I need y'all to, with frame generation, I need y'all to think. Frame generation and DLSS 3.5. Think about that. Going beyond what the Series X can do. With any of these end game monitors, I can drop links to these monitors at, in, during the Q&A portion if you want to get one. You need to get one of these monitors or you need to get you a Quantum Dot OLED TV or a mini LED TV if you can afford it. I'm telling you guys, it makes a world of difference. You're going to thank me later. You're going to thank me later because games like Death Stranding 2, games like Ghost of Tsushima 2 are going to look insane. You hear what I'm telling you guys? Get ready. I'm done. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. Woo, boy. Mm. Get ready, guys. It's about to get crazy, man. Technology is about to get even crazier, man. We just need a lot of these developers not to be lazy. We don't need them to be lazy, guys, at all, okay? We need these developers to really step it up a notch and, and really put a lot more detail and a lot more passion and a lot more dedication. But my God, PC, I'm leaning more heavily towards the PC side. Let me tell you this. Once I have my, my ultimate PC set up, you guys will know. And I'm going to tell you guys, PC gaming is in my arsenal more than ever before now. Like, is, I'm not saying that I'm going to leave console gaming behind, but I will be paying more attention and invest more into PC. I'm sorry, because a lot of these PlayStation games that are going to PC, they look insane. I'm telling you, especially the newly released, especially Horizon Forbidden West, you don't understand. Especially if you have a 4090 or a 4080 or a 4070 Ti, you don't understand how good that stuff looks especially if you have the monitor or TV to support it. Insane. In, insane. I mean, it's taking off everything that the PS5 left off and just taking it like two or three times more. Incredible. All right. So let's talk about the PS5 Pro. That's, that's the first topic that we're going to be talking about. So we're talking about the PS5 Pro Games Enhanced Boost Revealed, okay? Now, this is apparently the details and the requirements for the PlayStation 5 Pro, okay? Now, this was an article that was put up on um, Insider Gaming, so let's take a look. So as you guys can see on the screen here, exclusive PS5 Pro enhanced requirements detailed, okay? It says, with the soon-to-be-announced PS5 Pro expected to hit shelves later this year, Insider Gaming has learned of the developer requirements that need to be met to have the PS5 Pro enhanced label. So in order for this label, just like the PS4 Pro, this label that says PS5 Pro enhanced label that was literally on PS4 Pro, same thing with PS5 Pro. Yeah, this is internally what some of the stuff are going to be, okay? So internally, this isn't currently called the Trinity enhanced label, but for the sake of SEO, we're referring it to as PS5 Pro enhanced moving forward. So the enhanced label first made its introduction with the PlayStation ecosystem following the PS4 Pro, which meant that the game utilized the Pro console improved hardware to offer improved frame rates and resolutions. Now, for the actual PS5 Pro, uh, PlayStation wants the games to offer a PS5 Pro exclusive graphics mode that will combine. So check a look at this, guys. Just like how we have three performance graphics modes or uh, yeah, three um, performance modes or three graphics modes. This is similar to that. So you have your PSSR to upscale resolution to 4K, and then you have that constant 60 FPS, and then you also have um, the add or increase ray tracing effects, okay? So I can kind of see these three things being patched into um, games uh, from developers where I don't know if the layout is going to be similar to this, but I would really imagine that they will kind of have it, you know, 
uh, in this vein, right? Where you have your PSSR so you can switch that on and then it upscales the actual resolution. And then you have another toggle where you can toggle it on and then you have constant 60 FPS. So once that switch is on, you're getting 60, right? And then you have your ray tracing effects, right? You toggle that on and then you're having these insane amount of ray tracing effects that you have never had before. So there is that. Now, the GPU, remember what I told you guys, the GPU is where a lot of the power is and not so much of the CPU, which we already understand. So 67% larger than the standard uh, console, which is the PS5. So again, the GPU is where a lot of the power is. Now, let's dig into this, all right? So it says, according to documents sent to Insider Gaming, this is possible because of the faster RAM, 28% faster, guys. So the RAM inside of the PS5 Pro is, I'm telling you, RAM, for a lot of you PC dudes that don't know, Having faster RAM does help with not only your applications, but your, you know, different programs and different games and video editing and all type of stuff, animations and stuff like that. The faster the faster RAM you have, the more RAM you have, the better it is. For a lot of these PC dudes that are in here, you know what I'm talking about. So this is really good when it comes to the console side of things, when it comes to the PS5 Pro. So 28% in terms of faster RAM and a faster GPU that is 67% larger than the standard console, 45 percent faster you can read obviously more specs here playstation says that the combine uh make the pro 45 percent faster than the standard so 45 percent um guys is what they're saying here of the standard ps5 and can provide twice the rendering speed of the of the standard console now Let's see. Oh boy, I see that GTA 6 down at the bottom. So it says PlayStation goes on to continue that the games may also be given the PS5 Pro enhanced label if they offer any of the following enhancements. So this is what Sony is saying right now, basically saying, listen, for that, for any game that's going to have on the box, PS5 Pro Enhance must have these re must have these following requirements, okay? Increase target resolutions for these titles that run at a fixed resolution on the standard console. Increase target maximum resolution for titles that can run at variable resolution on the standard console. Increase target frame rate for titles that target a fixed frame rate on the standard console, the inclusion of PS5 Pro ray tracing effects. So again, PlayStation goes on to continue that games may also be given the PS5 Pro label if they offer any of these. So the games have to have these particular enhancements, guys, in order for it to have that label. Thank you, Sony, if this is true. Thank you. So with that being said, this is great news because if this is all true, right? I mean, in order for your, I, I, let me pull up a game basically just to kind of demonstrate real quick. Let's grab Returnal real quickly here for you guys. Um, let's grab Returnal. So for instance, um, I'm, I have Returnal here, right? So on the back of the Returnal box, I think I have a, a PS4 game with PS4 Pro enhancements on it. I would have to grab one just to show you guys, but you guys know what I'm talking about, right? So basically PS5 games, um, you know what I'm wondering, guys? You know, chime in, super chat me, whatever, tag me if you have any questions. I'm wondering if the box, if Sony is going to change the box like the logo, the obviously, I'm wondering if they're going to, you see right here up at the top where it says PS5, I'm wondering if it's going to say Pro, like right next to the PS5, like, I don't, I don't think so, I think it's probably going to just say PS5, and then on the back of the box, similar to the PS4 Pro, like in the, the back where it shows one player, network features, you know, how many storage and stuff like that, I think it's going to say PS5 Pro enhanced at the at the back of the box and so sony is basically saying listen these are our requirements and things of that nature for that particular label and so hmm very interesting man because listen with games like gta 6 that's getting ready to drop um there's tons of games third-party games that are like you know currently in development 
and things of that nature. It's going to be interesting to see how a lot of these third party developers uh, fully utilize the PS5 Pro upscaling technology. Once again, the PSSR, which we just went over a while ago and existing games that were already released like A Plague Tale Requiem or Gotham Knights, those type of games will be PS5 Pro enhanced. Just using an example where, for instance, the area where it was struggling, like for instance, Gotham Knights, 30 FPS, okay, now it's PS5 Pro enhanced. Now you get a constant 60 FPS. I'm just throwing examples out there so for people to understand a little bit. Now you can get a constant 60 FPS. That's one of the key areas of the PS5 Pro is where the PS5 is struggling, it's going to give you uh, enhanced abilities of locking that 60 FPS in and also improving the image of the resolution. So maybe, obviously, it was probably 1440p or 1080p before. Well, now it's fixing to be 4K with that upscaling technology. And it's going to look way better than the native resolution. That's why I'm excited for PSSR. Similar to how people were excited about DLSS when it first got introduced years ago and also frame generation, which basically is computing frames. Uh, it's just fake frames like people are saying, but it really does helps with a lot of the smoothness in a lot of the games and such. And so just wanted to highlight this, man. I cannot wait for Sony to come out with the PlayStation 5 Pro, going over the specs, Mark Cerny talking about how developers are going to utilize the upscaling technology and the Pro, considering we're hearing, if this is all true, again, this is all, you know, rumors until Sony comes out, but man, 67%. Uh, in terms of in terms of the GPU faster and like I said that's where a lot of the power is and if developers can utilize this hardware which we're probably going to see a lot of first party games really shining on this PS5 Pro I'm telling you guys because I need y'all to realize what I'm saying you can say whatever you want to say about Death Stranding oh Death Stranding Marlin it's a movie oh Death Stranding um, it's a, it's a guy delivering packages. Listen, Kojima is, I don't know, man, is on a whole, he's, he's God tier, literally, literally God tier. You know, you have S tier and then you have B tier, C tier. That man is God tier in terms of development. And, and I, and I've been saying this for years. I, I, I want to bring you guys back to 2008. Okay. I want to bring you guys back to 2008 just for a second. Okay. The golden PS3 days, okay? I need y'all to think about Metal Gear Solid 4. Y'all remember Metal Gear Solid 4, how that looked amazing on PS3? Well, I need y'all to think about his next game that he's working on. Not, not um, Death Stranding 2, Fizzent. How is that going to look on PS5 Pro? Because we already know that's going to be cross-generation between PS5 and PlayStation 6. Man, I don't, let's not even think that far ahead. Let's let's come back down to Death Stranding 2. Have you seen the gameplay trailer for Death Stranding 2? Have you seen the trailer for Death Stranding 2? Apparently, that's running on PS5. I need y'all to understand what I'm saying right now. That is apparently running on the base PS5. Can you imagine with what 67% larger is going to do in terms of GPU when it comes to PS5 Pro, I don't want to imagine that. I, I don't want to imagine that. I don't want to imagine what the Pro, if the base PS5, sit down where you are right now, if you can, is... Man. Listen, man. Pro Enhanced will be on the front towards the bottom is what I'm expecting. I really want them to have an enhanced screen upon game startup fire. Mm. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ninja. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I can see that happening. I can see that happening. Yeah, the box is gonna the box once the pro drops, I think the box is gonna change for sure from the standard box. Obviously, I don't think it's just not gonna it's it's not just gonna be the PS5 Pro on the back here, uh label, uh PS5 Pro enhance on the back. I think there's probably gonna be other like enhancements to the box itself or maybe they might keep it that same way but hear me out just for a second hear me hear me hear me um guys 
the biggest benefit to the PS5 Pro, and that, that, now I've said this numerous times and I'm going to say it one last time. The biggest improvement to the PS5 Pro is going to be first party. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! listen 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 are y'all hearing me let me see some fire emotes get excited come on get excited come on let's go Woo! let's go yeah listen 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 let me see some fire emotes in the chat. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Listen. There are going to be some third-party games. All right? There's going to be some third-party studios that's going to take advantage of the pro. But there are going to be more first-party developers. There are going to be more first-party developers that is going to take advantage of that PS5 Pro. Remember, and this is not a lie. This is not hyping up anything. It's the truth. Look at the PS4 Pro. Look, look at, look at um, Last of Us Part 2. Last of Us Part 2 came out when? At the end of the life cycle of the PS4. Remember? And it was developed with PS4 Pro in mind ah you guys don't remember huh man listen 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 same thing with ghost of tsushima though hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on y'all know where i'm going with this right y'all know where i'm going with this it's about to get crazy listen if this ps5 pro is real I am telling you, first party games are going to shine on this console. I am telling you guys, listen, if we got some of the, the, the best games towards the end of the life cycle of the PS4, what do you think is going to happen with the PS5? Towards the end of the life cycle of the PS5, we're going to see games that are going to be pushing the PS5 Pro and the PS5 to their uttermost limits, a.k.a. Death Stranding 2. Apparently, we already hearing that Death Stranding 2, guys, right in front of our eyes, even though we don't have a lot of gameplay to go off of, but you see the tad bits of gameplay. It looks insane. The gameplay looks night and day better than the original Death Stranding. And the director's cut that was released on PS5 looked insane. Okay? Gameplay, graphics, character models, insane. Can you imagine? Oh, Ghost of Tsushima director's cut looks insane on the PS5. Right? Can you imagine with the pro? I'm telling you, when Sucker Punch get ready to be cooking, when Naughty Dog gets ready to be cooking, we got Sony Ben with their um live service game whatever they're gonna be showing off we got concord that's supposed to be dropping this year we got phantom blade zero i do believe games like listen it ain't even just about third party it's second party games sit down wherever you are right now second party games are going to shine on that pro i'm telling you guys marlon listen 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 okay i need you guys to understand that developers like Square Enix like to just focus on one machine because it's a lot more easier to develop for one machine than multiple machines, right? Okay, well, everybody already know that. But I need y'all to understand second party and third party develop, well, second party and first party out of all the developers are going to shine on the pro. Third party, not so much. You're going to get a lot of mixed bag um support when it comes to third-party stuff so don't go into this expecting a lot of third-party developers to be patching ps5 pro games i'm just going to tell you that right now but the second party and the first party will take advantage of this hardware in ways that you probably won't imagine i'm telling y'all y'all gonna thank me later because we have already seen look at stellar blade look how good man Listen, I see a lot of people saying that Stellar Blade is a proper PS5 game. You don't believe me? 
I, go look on social media right now. Just by playing the demo, people are saying, that, man, this is the best PS5 game. Bro, I was even playing the demo and I was like, man, this game is looking really good. Like, perform when I was playing it on the OLED, I was like, man, this looks insane. Right? And it 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 like I said, my areas where I feel like the game was kind of lacking is like with the platforming and the stiff animations in certain areas. But besides that, the performance. The color palettes, the gameplay, the smoothness of the gameplay, and 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 how the character models look, and the story. So, oh man, oh man, oh man. Listen, <laughs> listen. Last thing I'm gonna say. Last thing I'm gonna say. We're gonna move on to the next topic. Listen to this. With games like Returnal. OK, I'll, every single first party game that was released on PS5 is at 60 FPS. I'm going to say it again. Every single first party game that's been released since 2020 on PlayStation 5 is running at 60 frames. OK. All right. That's it. I need y'all to imagine something. Can you imagine if we have Sony Ben? We're not going to get Days Gone 2. I'm sorry. We're not going to get Days Gone 2. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I need y'all to think about what I'm about to say. Think on, just for a little bit. Remember that they patched Days Gone for PS5? Okay. And how insane that look. Oh, it even look even sicker on PC. Rock with me for a second. Can you imagine if Sony Ben patches Days Gone for PS5 Pro? Oh, man. Oh, man. Can you imagine if this gets patched for PS5 Pro? What? Oh, man. Oh, man. I love I love this game. I love this game. By the way, pick this game up if you haven't. I beat this game. I, I've, I've played the DLC, and I, I love this game. I love this game. Like, when I get hooked on this game, it's like I can't put it down. Can you imagine a lot of the first-party games that was already released get enhanced for PS5 Pro? I'm talking about every single first-party game. Miles Morales, Spider-Man 2, um returnal ratchet and clank all these games gets ps5 pro enhancements ghost of tsushima director's cut got patched with ps5 pro enhancement y'all not ready y'all not ready oh wait 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 a minute hold on hold on Thor's hammer gets PS5 Pro enhanced. <laughs> oh! <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Ah, Thor's hammer gets that PS5 Pro enhanced treatment. Man, you can see every crack, everything. Like, listen, God of War Ragnarok. It's one of my favorite PlayStation games of all time. Yeah, it's up there. And imagine Thor's hammer getting that PS5 Pro enhancement. I don't even think y'all even realize what I'm saying. Listen, 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 listen. The, the God of War Ragnarok was criticized for looking like PS3 or looking like PS4 or whatever the case may be running on PS5. Can you imagine God of War Ragnarok with PS5 Pro enhancements? Y'all not ready. Like Credo say, you're not ready. You're, you're not ready. <laughs> you're not. You're not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready. <laughs> you're not ready. You're not. You're, you're. You are not ready right now. I'm just trying to get. I hope. I hope I made you day today. I hope I made you guys day to day. I hope I made you laugh. I hope I know it's I know it's dead right now in terms of gaming, but I'm I'm trying to 
I'm trying to, I'm the middle guy. I, I, I'm trying to get you guys hype some type of way. I, I know there's nothing to be hype about, but that's just me, man. I always like to make people happy and make people smile. So I, I hope I was able to at least get you guys hyped for these games that are coming out and, and, and just kind of change your mood. Maybe you might be having a bad day. Maybe you might be depressed or stressed or worried about someone or whatever you're going through right now or finances or your job or whatever it is that you're worrying about or stressed about. I, I, I just hope that I, I was able to make your day. Okay. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, boy. Now, boy. <laughs> you are not ready. You are not ready, boy. <laughs> Come, boy. Go, boy. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, man. And a lot of you guys don't know I love Kratos. It's one of my favorite characters um, of all time. Top five. Kratos is like top five for me. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to. Shameless plug. I had to. All right. PS2. Give a round of applause to the PS2, bro. Let's go. Let's go. PS2, baby. Let's go. Woo. Woo. Let's go. All right, so check this out. The latest PS2 sales update is crazy, crazy right now. Listen to this. Over the weekend, an unexpected PS2 lifetime sales update by former PlayStation boss Jim Ryan sparked an unusable debate. Listen, 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 listen. It's so unusable right now for a lot of people to sit down and to think that PS5 is where it's at now in terms of ship um, consoles. And a lot of people think it's unusual that PS2 was still selling after all these years, right? It's unusual. Like, it's mind-blowing that PS2 is still selling, right? And granted, like, I don't know, I still play my PS2 to this date, but Ryan, Jim Ryan, basically in his final appearance at PlayStation blog podcasts, he said that PS2 sold 160 million units in its lifespan. Insane. Wow. That is crazy. That is crazy hey no problem no problem no problem i'm i'm glad you appreciate the content sit down and think about this right now okay ps2 bro ps you know how old ps2 is ps2 is over 20 years old at this point right bro sony officially lists ps2 lifetime sales figures as more than 155 million as of march 31st 2012 that was the last time we got any update on ps2 lifetime sales was 2012 what is it now it is 2024 12 years later and it sold a whopping 5 million more units put some respect on that ps2 bro let's go wow That is crazy. That is crazy. So it says what a lot of folks are missing here is the fact that PS2 was still in production until January 2013. So PS2 was still in production, bro, until January. Let that, that, that sink in. Until January of 2013. That was 11 years ago. PS2 was still in production. That is crazy. The best console, one of the best consoles ever made, the legendary PS2. Put some respect on that PS2, bro. Maybe PS2 for you guys were y'all first console and you hold it close to your heart. But 2013, 
it was January 2013, it was still in production. And while we were itching closer to the PS4 at the time, PS2 was still in the market. I'm telling you about Sony consoles, man, just like Nintendo consoles. Some people find it curious that Ryan would drop that figure of 160 million during his farewell podcast. And Nico uh, Partners analyst Daniel Ahmad points out that Sony revealed that it had sold more PS2s than PS3s between April and December of 2012. What? Man, that is crazy. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me right now? Did y'all hear anything that I just read to you guys right now? PS2 was outshining PS3 back in 2012. Let that sink in. PS3 is so legendary because it birthed a lot of the bigger franchises that we're actually playing right now. But PS2, man, oh my God literally the start of it all ps2 and ps1 people were buying more ps2s than they were buying ps3s crazy to even think the company didn't provide a sales um breakdown but did say that it sold 16 what 16.5 million units of ps2 and ps3 combined back in 2012 that is great that's not that long ago that's literally not that long ago. That's like 12 years ago. That's not really that long ago. What? That is crazy. People are still buying. And I know to this day, people are still buying PS2s. People are still looking for PS2s. Obviously, now you can't buy one brand new in the store, but you can go on eBay or any other you know resellers and get one. But my God, my God. Listen to this. Listen to this. Over on Twitter, Ahmad did some rough math using an official data and came up with a theoretical range of 158.6 million to 161.8 million PS2 sold. So anywhere in that region, right? That is crazy. That is crazy. So on the higher end, 161 million units of PS2s wow 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 that's crazy that is crazy <laughs> and ps2 ps2 came out in the year 2000 right so 24 a 24 year old console crazy it just goes to show you how good the ps2 was ps2 was just legendary man and with the PS2 doing that so great, the best-selling console of all time, Sony needs to do something. I think, how many of you guys would buy a PS2-themed PS5? I'm going to ask you guys this right now. Hit that like button for me and hit the share button. Would, let me see, would, would you buy a PS2... I know I'll buy that day one, a PS2 themed PS5. I know what my answer is going to be PS5 or pro because they can do it with a pro bro. I know what my answer is. My answer is heck yes. If Sony comes out with a PS2 themed PS5, I am all over it. I am all, if you call yourself a PlayStation fan, it should be a 100% vote on that one. I'm just saying, because a lot of you dudes, your first console was the PS2. You know, a lot of people's first console was PS2. Like, I love the PS2 so much because back then, it, it that that console has done so much for me back in middle school, um, throughout high school. The games, the experiences that I've, I, I've had got me out of a lot of trouble with the ps2 like just staying at home not getting into trouble with friends or anything like that and just gaming bro metal gear solid 2 oh my god oni musha what are you crazy the suffering what are you crazy vice city san andreas oh my y'all playing oh oh man what Crazy, crazy. 
Yeah, man. PS2, PS2 was back when gaming was great, phenomenal. You know, back when developers were passionate about what they do and want to create worlds that they're excited about and storytelling was at its peak back then. I don't know why y'all so quiet today, but man, PS2 deserve a round of applause. I mean, that console over 40, over what, 4,000 games or more? Over 4,000, maybe, I think some people going on to say about 5,000 games or something like that. Close to 5,000. I think it was over 4,000 games total. Listen, man. PS2 was so good. SOCOM. Y'all remember SOCOM on PS2? I, I still have my PS2 with the internet modem on the back of it. And playing SOCOM and playing it online. Man. I don't even, I have to find my PS2 headphones that I had. Listen, man, listen, PS2 was so good back then, bro. Being able to play DVD movies, that was a lot of people's excuse, you know what I mean, back then to buy a PS2 was the fact that it was a built-in DVD player inside the PS2. The fact that you could play movie discs in there, the fact that you could play um, your regular music CDs in there, games, what it was a... <gasps> It was an all-in-one console. The PS2 was an all-in-one machine. You could play music. You could play movies. You could play games. What? You could play online. And, man, PS2, man, I missed, I, man, that was when gaming was good. Gaming nowadays is garbage. Like, these developers nowadays, they just don't care. They just put out a bunch of dumpster fire and expect us to buy it. You know what I'm saying? Wow, PS2 being sold unit, I graduate high school. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Exactly. Exactly. The PS2 discontinued the same year when PS4 came. Yep. Bro, listen. 2013. 2013. PS4 came out. Listen. PS2, man, was like, it, it was ahead of its time. PS2 was ahead of its time. I love the PS2. Out of all of the consoles that Sony has ever made, the PS2 is my all-time favorite. I'm sorry. It's the greatest. It is. <laughs> it is. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the PS2 is is my favorite. My Not the PS4, not the PS5. Not the PS1, not the PS3, the PS2, bro. That console was so good. It was so... Def Jam. Yo, I real quick. I know I'm just... Just nostalgia is hitting me right now. Listen, guys. Y'all remember back in 2004 when Def Jam Fight for New York was getting ready to drop on PS2? Oh, my God. Yo, 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 yo. I was still in high school, bro. I was still in high school around that time. Yo, I, man, I don't even know, bro. No responsibility. I was just in school. You know what I'm saying? No wife, no nothing. Just I was in school. I was just focusing on my work and I had all the time in the world to game. And man, I remember in 2004 when they were dropping that Def Jam fight for new york you dudes know what i'm talking about if you remember 2004 and you remember that era of gaming insane ps man y'all some of y'all don't even remember 2004 bro Lynn vendetta that's why i love the ps2 so much man the emotion engine the ps2 was so good man that's why i don't understand how sony is disrespecting the ps2 like that listen to me if you don't do it with the PS5 Pro Sony, you need to do it with the PS6. Don't disrespect the PS2 like that. This garbage that y'all doing with this PlayStation Plus Premium is a disservice to PS2. And I'm calling Sony out on this. This is bull crap you're doing. You need to have full backwards compatibility to one of the greatest consoles ever made. Are you crazy in your brain, Sony? I'm going to need for y'all to put down the bamboo pipe and listen to what I'm saying right now, okay? You, um, Mark Cerny, all of y'all over there, y'all know I love y'all, but I, I gotta, gotta be real with you guys, man. The PlayStation 6 better be, it better have full backwards compatibility. I've seen a lot of tech channels saying the same thing. P 
PS6 better have full backwards compatibility, bro. You 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 are crazy in your brains to tell me we're going to get the sixth iteration. I need y'all to sit down and hear what I'm saying. You're getting the sixth iteration of the PlayStation console, the sixth generation of the PlayStation console, and you're telling me we're not going to get full backwards compatibility? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Marlon, name your top 10 PS2 games of all time. Bro, no. <laughs> bro, listen, come on, man. Why are you doing this to me, man? God bless. Keep up the great work. Marlon, 10 toe down. A zero with a big body. 50 to start off the month of April. Let's go. Let's go, man. Show us some love. Hey. Let's go. Listen. What? What? Listen, listen. Bro, there are so many games on PS2. I can't even. Bro, listen, 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 listen. Onimusha. Okay. Killzone. <laughs> Onimusha. Killzone. Vice City. San Andreas. The Suffering. That's five. Shinobi. That's six. Socom. That's seven. Metal Gear Solid 2. That's eight. Bro, come on, man. Come on. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Resident Evil Outbreak. Resident Evil 4. What? What? Oh. Oh. Come on, man. Oh. Listen, man. Listen, man. Especially Metal Gear Solid 2? So, listen, man. Come on, man. L listen. Yo, PS2, I can do this all day. We talking about PS2, I can do this all day. There were games after games. After Bro, I was saving my lunch money. I was going without food at school to save money for them games, them $50 games. What? Stop playing with me. <laughs> Stop playing with me. I was saving my money back then to buy games and to buy my memory card. You remember them eight megabyte memory cards? Nyko was making memory cards. Then you had those um, OG PS2 uh, memory cards, the Magic Gate eight megabyte. Ma man, I have so many of those. I mean, I have a draw full of memory cards at this dog on point. Your boy was running out of storage at that dog on point. Listen to me when I tell you. PS2 is legend. Vice. I remember playing Vice City on PS2. That was one of the games that I could not simply put down along with Soul Calm, Metal Gear Solid 2, um, man, Midnight Club. What? Are you crazy? RE4. What? Listen, man, you playing. You playing around. Listen, Resident Evil Outbreak. What? Oh, man, with that on... Y'all, yo, y'all not hearing me. The suffering, Oni Musha. Oh man, gaming is garbage now, bro. Gaming is trash comparing to bro. And what made the PS2 so legendary was the fact that you could put in PS1 games. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Yo, 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 listen, 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 listen. Y'all don't understand how good the PS2 was. The fact that you could just put in that P... That's why I said backwards compatibility is a joke. Sony playing games right now. They playing games with us because, bro, that was what made the PS2 so good. With the fact that you could drop in any PS1 game. Any PS1 game. Parasite, Eve, man, Siphon, Filter, man, uh, Jet... Moto, what? Stop playing with me. Final Fantasy, what? Final Fantasy 7? Are you crazy? Man, come on, man. Listen, man. PS2 was just... Man. <laughs> I'm going crazy right now. I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'm going crazy right Sony. Listen, man. Kill Zone on PS2 was so good. 
Y'all don't even remember Killzone. Killzone. Go play Killzone on PS2 right now. Oh my God. Man, I remember when Killzone dropped for the PS2. When Killzone dropped on PS2, I was losing my mind. Okay? It, bro, the, the DualShock 2 controller, I don't care what none of y'all say. The DualShock 2 controller is the greatest controller of all time. Bro, I literally have, bro, my fingers were hurting playing Street Fighter Alpha. All these games. Y'all, some of y'all don't even know what I'm talking. Man, listen, man. Listen. <laughs> Tekken, tag, all these. Man. Early 2000s was peak gaming NFS Hydrogen Phosphide, GTA 3, GT4. Bro, GT, G, GTA 4, oh my God, GT3, Need for Speed, Underground on. <laughs> Oh my god need for speed on the ground on the ground too most bro i still got my, my marlon you're goat you're, you're the goat marlon you're the goat bro i still have my copy of most wanted on ps2 put some respect on my name put some <laughs> yo yo bro 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 i still got my copy of most wanted from years ago some of y'all more more, more y'all remember 25 to life on ps2 nah y'all don't remember mm -mm. <laughs> yo 25 to life man listen bro yeah the suffering all those games man 50 cent bulletproof Y'all not ready. One eight seven ride or die, bro. Fifty cent bulletproof was goaded on PS. Let's let me not talk about more games on here. Let me move on to the next. I can do this all day. All right, I can do this all day. I can talk about PS two all day. I don't know. I need to find. You know what? The fifty cent bulletproof game is a rare game. I think I still have it somewhere. I need to go find my fifty cent bulletproof. That's going for a lot of money online. Lie. If you have Def Jam, I, I still have my copy of Def Jam, Fight for New York, in the box with the booklet. That's going for three, $400 online. Don't believe me? Look it up. If you're trying to buy 50 Cent Bulletproof, I promise you you're going to pay over $100 for that game. Listen, bro, you talking about PS2? Yeah, 50 Cent Bulletproof showed you what the PS2 could do. SOCOM, Onimusha, Shinobi, man, Killzone, Legendary, Sony playing right now. Man, that was when Sony was Sony. That was when Sony was cooking. And I have to, it's a shame I have to go backwards. I'm sorry I got to go backwards on Sony, but that that's just, my mind goes backwards, man. I, I, I that's, that's, that's when Sony was really good. You know what I mean? The PS2 Sony, the, the PS1 Sony. You know what I mean? Oh, that's when Sony was Sony. Now it's just like, what is Sony doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what did, no, for real, what is Sony doing right now? Yes, there are games that I'm excited, Ghost of Tsushima, Death Stranding, you know, there, there are games that I'm excited, but man, when it was good, when it was good, man, man, I can't, I can't help but think about that, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm on this topic, but you guys know how I feel about PS, I still, y'all don't believe me, I still have my PS2. I still have, it's going to make its debut on the channel, I promise. It's in the garage right now. I have my PS2, man. I fired it up a um, couple days, ago, not that long ago, actually, and played Def Jam Fight for New York. Y'all don't understand it, man. <laughs> uh, that, and, yo, and them graphics is still good. Okay, for those of you like, ew, Marlon, ew, those graphics are cobwebs. No, sir. <laughs> No, sir. No, sir. That was when it was good. Okay. That was when it was good. Now nah, our eyes is so accustomed to better graphics now from these computers and these hardware that we have PS5 and Series X. PS2 technology back then was just so good. It, it, it just aged so well. Like that early 2000s, mid 2000s, man, I wish I could go back to that time, man. I, man, I wish I could go back to that time and stay in that time frame. It was just the games, the developers, the technology. It was so good. And Sony was hungry. 
That was back when Sony ain't hungry no more. Sony rich now. Sony rich. Sony got all this money, even though they profit margins are down, even though they lost ten billion dollars. You guys get what I'm saying? They just, it's like Sony don't care like they used to. I don't know. Same thing with Microsoft. 360, legendary, legendary console, legendary games on P uh, on 360. Eh. <laughs> Gaming is a joke now. My top 10 PS2 list, no order 1, Dark Cloud 2-2, two, two, Time Splitters 2-3, Resident Evil Outbreak 4, Odin Sphere 5, God of War 2-6, Jax 3-7, FF 10-8, DMC 3. Oh, okay, okay. And Sly Cooper and Devil May Cry 3. Bro, what? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2, what? Bro, I just name off, t I just name off 10 games. Like that that's not even my top all time. Bro, Dark I'm um, Dark Cloud. Some of y'all dudes don't even know about no Dark Cloud. Time Splitters. I played Time Splitters on the GameCube. Remember there was Time Splitters and there was another game. Um Psycho, Psychop, Psychop, Psyops, Psyops. What? Psyops? <laughs> Psyops. Y'all remember PsyOps? Nah, some of y'all don't even know what I'm talking about. Some of you dudes don't even know what I'm talking about. PsyOps, Time Splitters, Zone of the Enders. Y'all don't even know what I'm talking about. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Jack and Daxter, what? Ratchet and Clank, all the Ratchet and Clank games on PS2. What? Are you crazy in your brains? Man, that was when it was good. Yeah, gaming now is garb dumpster fire garbage. Listen to me, Kingdom Hearts 2, Devil May Cry. I played every single Devil May Cry game. Devil May Cry 1, amaze. What? Are you crazy? Devil May Cry 2, what? Are you crazy? Devil May Cry 1 and 2 is goaded. Well, some people back then, some people would say Devil May Cry 3 was better than 2 because 2 was like, eh. Eh, eh. So yeah, by popular demand, some people was like, "Yeah, I remember, bro. My brain is is good with remembrance." Yeah, Devil May Cry two was good though. I'm not gonna lie, because man, Dante was doing some crazy stuff. I mean, the moves got better from Devil May Cry one to two. The different, I mean, more weapons, bigger boss fights, and stuff like that. I remember one of my favorite moves of Dante, similar to what Neo does and stuff like that, where he goes up in the air does like an aerial attack and comes down just spinning around like matrix oh my god like head down just spinning around man listen bro <laughs> y'all dudes let me move on to the next i can talk about ps2 all day long man listen man i miss i miss i miss i miss gaming back then guys i'm sorry to be talking about this stuff but i miss when gaming was great and it's sad, man. It, 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 thank you so much for that donation, Dad Hip. It, it's Dark Cloud 2. I mean, Resident Evil Outbreak. What? Playing that on online. Y y man, Siphon Filter. Odin Spit. Man. <sighs> Sly Cooper. What? They are joking right now. Y'all remember Sly Cooper? Mm, 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 mm. Sony sitting on their bag. <laughs> Sony, sit, Sony, you sitting on your bag. Mm -mm -mm. Let's move on to the next topic. I'm done talking about PS2. Uh, that's it. <laughs> you sitting on your bag. <laughs> Man. Sony. Sony. <laughs> Sony, if you're watching this right now, which I know you watch the streams, Listen, you let me get in a PlayStation some kind of way. Get get your boy in on that PlayStation. What's that? What's that creator's program? Get your boy in on that creator's program because here's the thing, Sony. I got ideas. Okay? I got some of the greatest ideas when it comes to gaming. Some of the great I got books. I got books of ideas. Written down from when I was 13, 12 years old. Don't believe me? Ask my wife. I got books. She can tell you books of ideas written down. Patterns of stuff that I wanted to. Listen, listen. Listen to me right now. 
You get me in that program, and I'll try to make gaming better for all the PlayStation fans. Believe me, because here's the thing, man. I would do whatever, similar to what EA is doing with, with their creator program, um, you know, where you can actually give feedback to the developers on the development process of things. Listen, man, same thing Sony is doing with their creator program. I forgot what the creator program is called for content creators, but get your boy in there. Don't delay. Get your boy in there because I got some ideas for y'all. And I'm telling you right now, you're sitting on your bag. You're sitting on that bag. Slight Cooper, that's bag. Infamous, infamous one and two. Is you crazy out of your brains? Infamous one and two was cr I'm about to hold on, hold on. Pause, pause the next topic. Pause, 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 pause. I think I just got mad now. Do y'all remember Sony when they were doing the greatest hits? Nah, some of y'all don't even remember. Remember the greatest hits games with the red box? They were doing it with PS3, PS2. Listen, 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 listen. Greatest hits? Bro, them games were like 20 bucks back then. <laughs> $19.99. Say it with me. $19.99. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Them days are over with. Sony, go back to the greatest hits. Some of you PlayStation dudes should know what I'm talking about. Remember the greatest hits, guys? I see one person said they know the greatest hits. Remember the greatest hits when Sony used to do that? Stop playing Sony and bring that back. Man, bring back what works. Man, listen, bro. Y'all remember? Y'all, Some of y'all youngins don't even. Oh, LG just texted me a while ago. What the heck LG want? LG, stop bothering me. I have a stream going on right now. <laughs> LG, LG over here texting me. I ain't got time for LG products right now. Listen to me, but LG, relax. I'm talking about the greatest hits. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to have my fans remember the greatest hits of Sony. Listen, y'all remember, man. Listen, man. Listen, bro. I used to cut grass just to have get money back when I was going to school. I used to shovel snow just to get money. You see what I'm saying? I used to do chores around the house just to get extra money. Bro, I used to love when those $20 games drop. When those $20 greatest, man, some people don't even know them good old days. Man, $20 was the sweet spot back then because you could get a lot of great, man, Jack and Daxter, all these games, greatest hits, Sly Cooper, man, Sony, man, Sony sitting on their back. Sony's hits after hits after hits. What? Man, come on, guys. Somebody help. Somebody help. Man. Bro. <laughs> Bro, listen, listen, listen. I got boxes full of PS2 games. Literally, I have boxes. Big boxes full. You hearing what I'm saying? Big boxes full of PS2 games. And when I tell you PS3 games, some of these greatest hits, bro, listen, bro, man, I can't, I can't even move on to the next topic right now. I can't stop talking about how good gaming was back then. I'm sorry, guys. 1999. Say it with me. I ain't talking about no funky 69.99. I am talking about nine. Say it with me. Say it loud with me. 1999. Yes, not the year. <laughs> not oh, well. The year was dope too. 1999 was goaded, a goaded year. <clears throat> But I'm talking about price. I'm talking about currency. I'm talking about dollars. Okay? Get your mind out of the year for a second. It's talking about 90, 1999. I'm talking about currency. Some of y'all dudes are going back to 1999. No, 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 no. Stay rock with me. Talk about currency. I'm talking about dollars. Okay? Dollar, dollar bill. 1999. What? Man, back then when mom and dad was struggling, bro, and didn't even have much to give me. You know what I'm saying? And working three jobs just to take care of you. And, you know, hey, what what you want for your birthday? Oh, I want a $20 game. Oh, $20 game? Really? Hey, I want the greatest hits. I want to, I, I can't, I can't afford, I can't do $50, son. Oh, mom, can you do 20? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do 20, baby. Let's go. $19.99, 21. I remember I went, I went to the store, $21.64. How much is it? I, I could go into the store right now. Skit, skit. 
uh, greatest hits. Uh, this is all for today. You want any warranty? Nope. Don't want no warranty. All right. It'll be 2164. Oh my God. Parsa Omni and Dadip told me to say just remember to remember Halo ODST is numero uno. Remember today's is April 1st. Just remember to just remember. Eh. ODST. <laughs> Okay, bro. Here we go. Here, here we go with this remember. I don't want to see no more donations about no just remember nonsense. Let's get back to what's important here. $21.64. How many of you guys remember that? Some of you dudes probably don't. But $19.99 was a sweet spot. How much is it with taxes? $21.64. Hook it up. My mom's was like, let's go. 2164. I remember my mom's was buying GameCube games for me, bro. RE4, Animal Crossing. Don't get me started on Cube. Let's not talk about GameCube right now. Marlon, stop talking about GameCube. I still got my GameCube, by the way. <laughs> um, Need for Speed Underground on the GameCube. What? Are you crazy? Man, there were so many good games. Metroid Prime. I still got my copy of Metroid Prime. Uh, for 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 um for for my GameCube, man. Listen, bro. Let me stop talking about. It. See, I can do this all day. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry, man. I know some of y'all don't mind, but I'm sorry. I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm thirsty for nostalgia right now. I, I'm sorry. I just I just wish gaming was as great as it was back then. I'm sorry, man. I miss those days when we were kids, man. 14, 12 you know, 11, 10 years. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I just miss those days. You know, it, it was just, it was just great, man. You know, now it's just, you just, you just got so much responsibility, you know, either you're married or you got a girlfriend or you got bills. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just, I miss those days, man, when it was just, you know, you could just game as long as you want, as long as your homework, son, did you do your homework? Yes, ma'am. Now I'll bring my homework in, you know. What's up, Cool M? How you doing? You heard about NVIDIA is buying the Xbox brand from Microsoft. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a nasty lie. That's a lie. That's a, <laughs> That's a lie. Talk about <laughs> NVIDIA buying, man. <laughs> Okay, you got to do better than that with that April Fool's nonsense. Please do better than that. That's garbage. That's nonsense. NVIDIA buying Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. Yeah, come with something better than that. <laughs> Talk about NVIDIA buying my They in their dreams. And NVIDIA, and NVIDIA in their dreams. <laughs> hey, come better than that, bro. Come better than that. <laughs> talk about nvidia buying microsoft on what planet on what world do you live on man just like i saw all that um what was it again um bloodborne conversation coming up lies anything about bloodborne right now is just i just don't believe it because i just feel like it's lies it's all like i don't believe nvidia bought the buy no anybody who sit there and believe nvidia is gonna buy microsoft today they just they just want to they just want to just dwell into the april fool's joke situation like guys stop that nonsense okay stop it stop it before it's too late hey nvidia is not gonna buy microsoft they can't even afford to buy microsoft no no it ain't happening it ain't happening microsoft is not for sale <laughs> um they wish they wish i don't know which company can afford to buy microsoft um microsoft is worth so much money i can't even count um but let's <laughs> lies of p let's move on to the next topic <laughs> talk about nvidia uh y'all are crazy now y'all got that stuck in my head now listen to this check this out jim ryan on his closing remarks via the playstation podcast listen to this PS5 is on track to become Sony's most successful console ever, says Jim Ryan. Well, pause. PS5 is on the verge of hitting, what, 60 million, right? Listen, in order 
for in order for PS5 to be just like topping the charts, continuing to top the charts, you need great software. I do believe that there's a lot of great software for PS5 that is in development. Only time will tell once they get revealed and how much more of the console will be sold. Now, former PlayStation boss Jim Ryan has, uh, has said that the PS5 is on track to become Sony's most successful console ever. Ryan made a final appearance on the PlayStation blog podcast last Friday during which he, he opted in and basically said that Sony is at the top of its game right now. So he's saying, Jim, I don't know if y'all agree with Jim Ryan. Jim Ryan is saying that Sony is at the top of their game right now. So unless he knows something that we don't know, but currently at this moment, I don't believe Sony is at the top of their game right now. Since we just talked about the legendary PS2 and how many of you No, no that's a question for the audience. Yeah, let's end this poll right quick. So the, the question of today was, um, would you buy a PS2 themed PS5 or Pro? 58% of you guys said yes. So let me ask you guys this right now, because it comes down to the games. I don't think Sony's at the top of their game right now. But let me ask you guys, do you think Sony is at is at the top right now? All right, there we go. Hold on, hold on. Oops. Do you think Sony is at the top of their game now? I need everybody to vote on that, okay? Now, they're not. I'm just being honest. They're not at the top of their game. They're not. Um, I feel like there's a lot of areas where Sony needs to improve on. And... You know, we know the games are coming. We know the single player sequels are coming. And I feel like once we get a solid PS5 showcase this year and get a clear roadmap and a clear understanding of what's in development, what's been in development for a long time, then then we can see, you know, what I mean, then we can have to revisit this conversation. But as of right now, last year and then going into this year, delays after delays, I mean, you know, projects getting canceled left and right, layoffs, all sorts of stuff going on. It's just, it's crazy. But unless he knows about something that we don't know about already. But Jim Ryan said that PS5 is successful across multiple vectors. Ryan uh, comments may seem a bit odd and mistimed considering the mass layoffs. Exactly. I just said that. The mass layoffs that PlayStation and its studios just went through. However, he made it clear that he is taking... Listen. Listen, listen, listen. You know, what he's talking about right now, take it into the consideration about the... I'm pretty sure he knows right? Because he, he was the head of PlayStation. So I'm pretty sure he knows, listen, Sony is not in the best position right now, right? So taking con into consideration of the massive layoffs, projects getting canceled left and right, um, Sony has to be micromanaging money more than ever, you know, like, yeah, you know, but he is talking from a multiple vector standpoint. And basically he's talking about PS5 performance in terms of sales in that particular vein. Now, preferably in that vein in terms of performance, maybe that's what he's insinuating, but Ryan didn't say what those vectors are, but on the sales front, PS5 sold 54.8 million units as of December 31st, 2023. Sony fell behind its ambiguous target, okay, of resulting the company's lower uh, forecast in terms of like they the, they didn't meet their their sales target and things of that nature. So all those things, right? You know, massive layoffs. They're not they're not selling enough consoles to meet their actual goal and sales. They they expect because the PS5 is shifting into the latter half. They lost ten billion in market value and things of that nature. But I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying. But unless he's looking at it from a different lens that we're not seeing it from. 
Now, let's kind of dig into this right here just to kind of close out the remarks. Quote, he said, I would say right now we are at the top of our game. Ryan said, PS5 is well on track to be our most successful console across multiple vectors. And I think the games and the gaming experience you see on PS5 led by PlayStation Studios are the best that we have seen. Really? Wow. The best that we have ever seen? Wow. Do you guys think that? Okay, this is this is a this is this is for the for the audience. Do you guys believe Jim Ryan on that one? Because I don't think no. This is it's not the best that we have ever seen. It's not. Um, I'm being honest. It's not the best that we have ever seen. We just talked about PS2. We just talked about PS1, PS3, PS4. Not the best that we have seen. I mean, we're three, we're three years in. This is the fourth year. This is not the best that we have seen. Because if you look at what a lot of people are saying right now, this is not the best that we have. This man said that we have ever seen. Literally. I'm going to read what he said again, verbatim. Said, I would say right now that we are at the top of our game. Ryan said, PlayStation 5 is well on track to be our most successful console ever across multiple vectors. And I think the games and the game and experiences you see on PS5 led by PlayStation Studios are the best that we have ever seen. When you said the best that we have ever seen that last part right there. No. No. The best that we have ever seen from Sony is PS2. Sorry. 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 The best that we have ever seen was the Sony of the PS1 era. The Sony of the PS2 era. That's the best that we have ever seen. Facts. Marlon, why are you saying that? I'll tell you why. Hit that like button and subscribe. I'll tell you why. A lot of the games that were on PS1 and PS2 and even PS3 is not even out, have not seen the light of day. And it's a shame because they're sitting on their bag. It's a shame. It's not the best that we have ever seen. Granted, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me put some underline in here. Granted, Sony have... A had a strong upper hand on Microsoft this in this generation. They had more games, more launch games than their competition. They carried the industry, right? Um, in, in, in 2020, 2021, 2022. In 2023, they dropped the ball. A lot of you dudes know this. First party wise, they dropped the ball in 2023. Marlon, why are you saying that? I'll tell you why. First party, what did we get last year? We only got Spider-Man 2. And a lot of you dudes do not love Spider-Man. Why are you saying that, Marlon? Because of the Sweet Baby Ink situation with Spider-Man, with the characters in Spider-Man, with the writing of Spider-Man 2, just like with Last of Us, you do not like Spider-Man 2. And it's a shame because I remember back in 21 when they first revealed the trailer for Spider-Man 2, you dudes were hype at the edge of your seats. And now that Spider-Man 2 came out and passed and gone, you guys don't even talk about Spider-Man 2. Like, and anytime you talk about Spider-Man 2, it's in a bad way. And it's so sad that I'm saying it. It's very sad. I enjoyed Spider-Man 2. I played it and I enjoyed it. Definitely up there as one of my best games that I played. With Venom, I, it's been years since I played with Venom. And just for Venom alone, it just boosted my score even further. But this is not the best that we have ever seen. Nope. Any diehard PlayStation fan can tell you that. They'll tell you. This is not the best that we have. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. I do believe maybe Nick, maybe this year or next year via PS5 Showcase, we can see what, what the best is from Sony. But no. A lot of people did not like Returnal. People dislike Returnal because, well, it wasn't taking advantage of PS5, even though it was, right? Um, but they didn't like they didn't like Returnal. A lot of people did not like Ratchet and Clank. 
A lot of people did not like Miles Morales. They complained about Miles Morales. Said Miles Morales is a PS4 game and it's garbage and all this and that. I'm telling you, a lot of people did not like Gran Turismo 7. A lot of people did not like uh, uh, Horizon Forbidden West. I'm serious, guys. I'm looking at you with a straight face. I'm serious. A lot of people was dissatisfied with the PS5 this generation. I'm telling you because I've seen it year after year, time and time again, people talking about, oh man, I'm, I'm holding off on buying a PS5. I'm like, bro, what about all those games I just mentioned? Nope. Don't care. Nope. Still waiting. Next. Next. What about Demon Souls remake? Boy, you, you crazy? No, I'm not. No, no, no. Pfft. Next. I already played that already. Next. I'm serious. So even though Sony had the upper hand on Microsoft and had a solid launch and carried us for two years straight, People are just like, well, that's it. Yeah, yeah, there were second party stuff that 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 got released on the console, but it's just not. Some people think that the PS5. I'm being honest. You want me to lie? You want me to be? You want me? You want me to be a liar? I'm not gonna be a liar. I'm always gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not gonna be a fake fraud. I'm being honest with you guys. A lot of people think that the PS5 is PS4.5. I'm serious. I'm serious. Marlon, why are you saying that? Because a lot of people are dissatisfied. A lot of people feel like, and this is facts. You see it out there from a lot of people. And this is why it's factual because so many people have been saying we got way too many um, PS4 games on PS5. And it turned them off to buying a PS5. Because games that should have been PS5 only and take advantage of PS5 was being held back. God of War Ragnarok. I even said to people, what about God of War? Eh, eh, Ragnarok is trash. Or they were even, maybe they were trolling. Or even they were say, oh, God of War Ragnarok, that's a PS4 game. And I'm like, man, God of War Ragnarok looked really good. Nah, man. Nah. Mm-mm. So it's just, I don't know, even though Sony had the upper hand on Microsoft in the console space, releasing more software, more first party software, it was still not enough. And people got to also understand that give them their flowers, give Sony their flowers because they launched the console in a pandemic, guys. So for that, I give them, they, regardless if you don't like Returnal and like the other games, give them their flowers because at least they had more games than their competition. I give them that. I give them that. I give them that. I give them that. I'll give Sony the fact that, yes, they launch more software than they competition to sell their hardware in a in a chaotic time like the pandemic that we had you know what i mean four years ago at this point to the day so the fact that sony was struggling just like all the other developers in the industry and the fact that they you know were able to still put up put out great games returnal in 2021 was a great year for sony 2022 was another great year for sony when it comes to first party games the games were dropping, guys, and I'm just saying, you know, but when we when we got into 2023 and everybody was like holiday 2023, all we got is just one first party game. Yeah, that 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 just that just tipped people off. But the the fact still remains is that the best is yet to come. And I just feel like there are just way too many people right now that are just not happy, that are just not happy at all. They're just not happy. And I'm just like, well, why? Well, that's because Sony haven't fully utilized the PS5. And I'm like, what about Ratchet and Clank? That game looks like a Pixar movie. Like the game looks incredible. Gameplay, graphics, story, characters. I mean, literally insane. Nope. Mm -mm. So many dissatisfied customers. So I don't know. I, I don't. I hit them with the facts of Sony have all these games and then they turn it down by saying, nope, don't care for those games. Those games are not showing me what PS5 can do. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Sony have a lot of work to do because this is not the best we have ever seen from Sony. Far from. I don't know what Jim Ryan is talking about. Unless Jim knows something that we don't know on the back end, that's two different things. 
He might know something that we don't know as fans, but the fact still remains the best is yet to be seen. That's the facts. <laughs> the best is yet to be seen because this is not the best. This is not the best. I, I'm, I'm even saying it. It is not the best. As much as I enjoyed a lot of the, the hits from 2020, 2021, 2022, I enjoyed Spider-Man 2 as well. It's not the best. I'm even saying it. So what does that tell you? There you go, man. It, it's, a, it's a crazy... And, it, you know, I told you guys, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be the same exact thing when it comes to the PS6. Same exact thing. Same exact thing. Unless Jim Ryan knows something that we don't know. That's all I can say on that. Okay? But, yeah, guys, there's that, man. Um, also, Silent Hill 2 got a ES ESRB rating. So yeah, for rated M for mature uh 17 plus label. So yeah, this game is probably gonna get um revealed, not not revealed, but like um shown off at the next um at the next um at the next PS5 showcase. And hopefully next time we see it, it actually looks better, but we'll see. Now, QA time. Let me ask y'all this. What are the facts? Let's ask you guys, what are the facts? What are the facts of this generation so far? Do you guys, do you guys believe that this is Sony's best work yet? No. What are the facts? I need some facts up in here. I need some facts. Can anybody give me some factual stuff? Is this the best that we have seen from PlayStation? I need everybody who is watching this. I need everybody to comment. If you have a PlayStation console at one point in time, whether it's PS5, PS4, PS3, PS2, or PS1, everything is obviously opinionated. But I'm just saying, man, you're seeing way too many people saying the same thing. It's just kind of like, it's hard, it's hard to not look at that and be like, okay, well, let's work even harder. Like this generation is not the greatest. One of the biggest problem with this generation is the pandemic. The pandemic hit this generation like a ton of bricks. The second thing, lazy developers, right? It's not the greatest. It's not the best. I'm sorry. The best that we have ever seen. No, sir. No, not even close to the best that we have ever seen. Not even close. Um, not even close. Not even close. He says Sony is holding back. Sony quiet. I'm tired. Of, ain't y'all tired of Sony holding back? For those of you who are talking about Sony holding back, ain't you tired of Sony? Ain't you ain't ain't we tired of using that? Ain't we tired of using that? Oh, Sony is holding back. Ain't y'all tired of Sony holding back? He said, bro, the fact uh is that Sony of today is not the best that we have seen, bro. That is true. That is 100 percent That is 100 percent now, some people can say it's not facts, but to me, it is 100% facts. This is not the best that we have ever seen from Sony. You could call it opinionated. This is factual. Look at PS1. Look at PS2. Even look at PS3. Even Jim Ryan even said it. PS3 birded a lot of the bigger franchises that we're playing right now. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is not the best. It's not. It's far from the best. This generation is like almost worse than PS4. Worse than the PS4 generation. Being honest. Worse than the PS4 generation. It's almost like PS3. That like the like the early part of the PS3 generation. That's how this generation feels. It feels like drought PS3 generation. Like the beginning stages of the PS3 generation was nothing but drought. 
and barely any good games to play. Remember that? And we didn't start getting good games until like half of the life cycle of the PS3. Half the life cycle of the PS3, once we got to the halfway point of the PS3 life cycle, that's when they start dropping the games. And that's how it feels. The PS early, this feels like an early PS3 generation for me. Sorry. Sorry. Um, that's just that's just how it feels. That's just how it feels. Um, it says Sony needs to move you back to Japan. Ah, man, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I just don't know. Uh, I says for me, the best of the best was any uh, uh, was when NES, Super Nintendo, and PS1, PS2. Ah, uh, yeah, for sure, man. Most definitely. It says when console makers started putting in hard drives in their systems, developers started becoming lazy. It's sad. It's sad, man. Like most people will agree on that. Most people, this is not the best that we have ever seen. Sony has a lot of work. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, let me shake your hand. Anthony Morris. Let me shake your hand, bro. Let me shake your hand, bro. Let me shake your hand hand bro this man said this man said hold up man hold up this man said hold up man ps he said he said metal gear solid 2 oh my god insane yes <laughs> oh man gaming nowadays is a is a joke gaming nowadays is a joke you hear me a joke metal gear solid 2 golden Goated. Goated. <laughs> Gaming nowadays is just garbage, man. Says uh, PS5 is easily my favorite P PlayStation console ever. Really? Wow. Congratulations, my man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congrats. I'm happy for you. I am happy for you. I am happy for you. I am so happy for you, man. PS5 is your favorite. I'm happy. I'm happy to hear that. But it ain't mine's. It ain't mine's. It ain't mine. Mm -mm. PS5 is far from my favorite. Out of all the, man, out of all the older consoles that Sony has dropped, pfft, yeah. Not even close, my guy. Not even close. PS, P, PS5 ain't even close to PS2. Not even close. Mega Drive, oh man. Not even close. But, you know, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. So, you like the PS5 more than, hey, cool, man. Say PS3, PS2, PS4, PS1, and PS5. That's me. There you go. Um, it says PS5 is my favorite console, too. Oh, that's what's up. I, and for those of you who are saying that, I'm happy for you. That's awesome. That is awesome to hear. That is awesome to hear. That is awesome to hear if that's the case. Mm-hmm. I'm hyped for you guys. You know, I'm, I'm hyped for y'all. Hyped for you boys. I'm hyped for you boys. If that's the case, I'm hyped for y'all. You guys are awesome. <laughs> PS5 is your favorite. Hey, he says, I've been playing my PS3 lately. It's still fine. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Heck, yeah, bro. Heck, yeah, bro. <laughs> PS3 is legendary, man. Heck, yeah. Heck, yeah, bro. You already know the vibes, man. You know the vibes. You know the vibes, man. <laughs> 
But now let me let me ask you this though. He said PS2 is is the goat lion. Oh heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah. Put some respect on that PS2, baby. Let's get it popping. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that share button, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that like button for me, guys. Let's see if we could get over 200 likes on today's show. I know we could do it if you enjoy the content, but my, 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 my. I can't help but think. You know, I can't help but reminisce about the great times, the good old days of Sony. I can't, I can't help but think about it. You know what I mean? PS2 is the best console ever made, in my opinion. Literally. Besides, besides the, the Super Nintendo, besides the N64, besides Nintendo, like, you know, I mean, the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, besides all that stuff. Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn, besides all that, the PS2. PS2 is up there for me, man. <laughs> PS2 should be in everybody's top five of greatest consoles ever made. Sorry, man. PS5? Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. Sorry, man. Sorry. Nah, man. PS PS5 is good, bro, but it ain't no PS2. Sorry. And it ain't no PS3 either. Nope. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I know some people are going to be mad. Some people are going to be mad, but I'm sorry. Sorry got to be like this, guys. But PS2 is just on a whole nother level. PS3, the middle of PS3 generation was on a whole nother level compared to PS5. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It says OLED still better than million. Oh, for sure. It is. Say, hey, Marlon, do you know if you can earn trophies on PS3 games on PS5 premium? Um, Probably not. I haven't seen that. Don't quote me on that. I haven't seen that. It's not a bad system, but it's just not what Sony is, is known for. It's not, it's not Sony at their best. That's what we're saying. It's not Sony at their best. It's not Sony at their best. You know what I mean? It's not Sony at their best. Sony can do way better than what they're doing right now. No, nobody's saying the PS5 is a bad console. We're saying that this is not Sony's best work yet. PS5 is not their best work yet. They can do way better than what they're doing right now. Maybe because of the pandemic kind of hold them back or something, but Sony can do way better than this. They can do way better. And anybody can agree with, with me on that one. Anybody would agree. Anybody would, would agree on that. Hit that like button for me. Yes, sir. Mr. J's. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it popping. Blame the games. <laughs> well, hey, that's what we play, right? We play the games. Blame the developers. <laughs> a lot of these developers are so doggone lazy. Man, lazy, lazy, lazy developers. Lazy. Yeah, blame the developers too. Not just the games. Blame the developers. To go even further beyond. Benjamin B. One dollar. I remember watching my big brother play San Andreas on his PS2. He would kill me if I put any drinks near the PS2 lol. My mom then got me a PSP as my first PS console which was so goaded. Yeah, oh yeah. Heck yeah man. San Andreas. Oh my god. San Andreas. Oh man. San Andreas was crazy bro. San Andreas really showed you what the PS2 could do. Yo, shout outs to my man Devastator says, did you see that Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC? Um, oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the $1. I appreciate it. Um, if, I, if I've seen Xenoverse 2 DLC 17 trailer, I haven't seen that yet. Mm -mm. He says, PlayStation 5, it's good, but the games, what happened? Exactly. Exactly. 
exactly it says right haptic feedback oh nobody i mean that stuff is great bro we're talking about games there's a lot of people who are like where is socom at where is where is um kill zone at where is sly cooper at where is infamous at like jack and daxter at come on guys there's some motor storm come on guys you know what i mean that was back when you know sony was sony now it's just like sony is good now you know they're 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 okay they're good now they're not great they're good i would say sony is good they're not great the sony of today they're just good they're just not great <laughs> if that makes any sense i don't know where's the res exactly where's the resistance sony is not trash they're they're good they're still good but they're not great <laughs> They're just not great like they used to be. He said, bro, do you know if if you get PlayStation Star Rewards, if you have the physical game like you do, if it have a digital, bro? Um, You know what, bro? Honestly, I haven't gotten too much into that PlayStation Star stuff, so I don't really know too much. Don't quote me on that. But there's like different rewards and stuff like that and perks on their on their website. So, yeah. Um and and different um breakdowns of it as well so you can check that out it says i think the high cost of pc tech uh may be holding back console gaming from improving performance i don't think so man i don't because these companies can do whatever they want that's what i'm saying the technology is there they can make whatever console they want as powerful as ever the problem is the developers we need developers to stop making excuses and fully utilize the hardware that's what we need them to do you know what i'm saying like that's what we need them to do bro and they're not they're not they're not unfortunately they're not doing that you know what i'm saying they're they're not doing that so it's just i don't know man i just i just don't know <laughs> he said no nah, that's a bunch of excuses <laughs> that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying just remember marlin it says is anyone still getting the ps5 pro oh yeah I, th I yeah i'll get the pro if if sony can come out and show me some stuff i'll get the pro make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're brand new yeah I'll, I'll get the pro if sony can demonstrate to me how the games are going to be looking better and playing better on the console i'll get it i'll get the pro i uh, shoot i got the ps4 pro so i'll get the ps5 pro if sony can show me you know the differences between the ps5 and the pro yeah and developers can quit being lazy and actually develop the games and then we'll then we'll be good then i'll get it i'll get it in a heartbeat i'll definitely get it you know what i mean so we'll see man um he said yep i will get the pro uh he said outside of more exclusive games ps2 and ps3 have nothing over ps5 um he said bro i i finally finished final fantasy 7 really what 168 hours what bro i wish i had that much time on my hands bro i wish i had that i think i put in probably like 30 hours into the game my, my man said 168 hours what man i wish i could put my, that much time in the game bro i'm i'm too busy with other things right now i can't even bro i don't have that time bro 168 hours golly kudos my man yo that's crazy how was y'all Easter, guys? How was y'all Easter? How was y'all Easter? Um, happy resurrection for those of you who celebrate it. Uh, he says you are going to do a pre-order, uh, pre-order and collection stream. What are you talking about? PS5 Pro? I said PS5 Pro is going to be dope. Hey, you already know. <laughs> you already know if Sony like i said like i said like i said pause pause if sony can show me the results then i'm sold on it then i'll be then i'll be good for it if sony can show me if sony 
can show me the results that I'm looking for. Because right now we're getting a bunch of games running at 4K 30 FPS right now. And some of them are like 1080p 60, 1080p 120. If they can show me the results that I want, then we good. We're we're golden. You know what I'm saying? We're we're golden, you know? We're 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 golden. We're golden. We're golden. Um uh, he said the reason PS1 and 2 were so good is because the games were not expensive to develop look at how much it costs now to, yeah 200 million dollars yeah but 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 here's my thing though but hold on hold on regardless of the games being 200 million dollars it games the games still need to be great though you see what i'm saying like the games can still be great regardless of how much they cost to make that's what i'm saying that's just money behind the games but what about the passion guys what about the passion? Because a game can cost $500 million to make and a game is dumpster fire. It comes down to the passion and dedication that these developers are willing to sacrifice and put into these games for, for the greater good of gamers and for the technology that, we're, that we are having right now. Because there's just way too many lazy developers out there. And I'm just like, bro, like, are you guys willing to fully sacrifice and utilize the hardware? that we're paying for you know what i'm saying like it's crazy right now it's just it's it's bananas man it really is uh it says xbox 360 it says ps2 games look like cardboard oh lord here we go i i can't <laughs> i i have nothing else to say i can't i can't with people again that's your opinion but if you feel like ps2 games look like cardboard respect to you my brother respect <laughs> respect to you my brother if you think if you if that's how you really feel hey that's how you feel that's how you feel i there's nothing else for me to say my man there's nothing else for me to say to you you know if that's how you feel that's how you feel homie you know what i mean that's how you feel i i, I mean i can't say otherwise um he said cardboard yeah he said it looked like cardboard i mean if that's how he feels that's how he feels I mean, so that's just the way it is. What are you, what are you going to do? What, 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 are you, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? What, what are you going to do? You know, people, people are same thing with PS5. People saying, you know, you know, certain games look like this, certain games. That, that's their opinion. So uh, I said GTA 6 better run at 60 on the Pro. It better. That's all I got to say or else ain't nobody going to want to buy the Pro. It better. It better. It says a Plague Tale Requiem has a 60 FPS performance mode. When did they add that? Because the last time I played the game, it didn't have that. I, I played and finished the game during the launch of the game. So I didn't I didn't mess with it after that. When they, did they patch that recently? He said, Marlon, what is what if the PS6 is a PS2 anniversary? Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I'll be all over it. <laughs> I'll be all over it. I'll be all over it. <laughs> this man said cardboard. <laughs> this man said cardboard. Bro, no spoilers, bro, but Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is my game of the year. Really? Wow. I'm so happy to hear that. I'm still trying to play the game for myself to, and trying to finish it. So I respect you not spoiling it for me, man. But thank you. Thank you for telling me that, man. That's awesome to hear. Yeah, I'm still playing. I'm still playing through. I'm nowhere near 168 hours, man. Not even close. Not even close, my G not even close you know what i'm saying not even close so yeah <laughs> yeah you know what i'm saying
Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. I need to I need to straighten this out right now. I need to straighten this out right now. So, obviously, I'm not going to let anybody ruin our our fun right now and our experience. So, Zonix or Zone, I don't know what your problem is, man. I don't know what's going on. I mean, there's so much tension in the Discord right now between you and Rich and all. This, this is why I say... I, I've I've created the Discord so that you guys can have a place where y'all can all come and have fun and enjoy, right? To where we don't have people in the Discord policing anybody around and telling everybody to, you know, try to keep people on a on a on a straight line in terms of like their attitudes and stuff, right? Everybody has grown and things of that nature, but this is why I don't do drama and this is why I don't have time for the console war nonsense. And I've told you guys time and time again, just keep the discord clean, right? Over and over and over again. And it's like the constant back and forth and the bickering and stuff like that. And when I, when the first discord I had, when that actually went down and got hacked and everything, I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm not doing no more discord. And I'm, I'm doing it again because we had so many gifted subs um, in February and I say, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and add an extra perk to the to the to our discord. I mean, to our to our membership and just add more value to the actual uh, membership uh, tier. And it's like I'm almost regretting doing that now because it's so much negativity and drama. You know what I mean? And it's like, for what? Like what? what I mean, why can't we just chill in the discord and have a good time? Talk about what's coming out. Talk about the latest. It's not hard. There's so many monitors, so many um, PCs, you know, CPUs, GPUs, so much stuff to talk about. You know what I mean? Like so much gaming stuff you can talk about. Your experience with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth or your experience with Rise of the Ronin. Like that's what the Discord needs to be about. All this unnecessary drama. I don't have time for it. And I'm not going to talk about this again because I'm, I'm, I'm really itching to just delete this Discord and put it behind me because it makes zero sense. You see what I'm saying? It's like we can't just just chill. You know what I mean? Like we can't just get into Discord, talk about news, and just keep it that way. Everybody, it's 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 either somebody disrespecting somebody or making somebody feel uncomfortable. And this is not what our community is about, guys. Our community is built on love. Our community is built on the passion of video games. Um, we 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 try to strive to be different from every other community and. Our community is bringing gamers together on the one umbrella so we can all show love and play games and just just have the love of God in us for Christ's sake. Something, you know what I mean? And just be genuinely enthusiastic about the games. That's it. Nothing else. None of this nonsense, dramafied nonsense that we're doing. It's crazy. And so if it means that, hey, some people just, maybe some people are aware gifted subs and stuff like that, and did not get paid, uh, didn't paid, uh, pay, pay in every month for the memberships or something like that. And then there were gifted subs before, and then you're acting crazy or something like that. Then it makes no sense for you to continue to be in there. If you're that unhappy, then you don't need to be in there. Period. End of story. You don't need to be in the Discord. If you're gonna try to, if you're, if you're just that unhappy, you don't need to be in the Discord. Period. End of story. So I don't want to talk about it no more. Don't ask me to talk about it no more. I don't want to talk about it anymore because it's 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 getting me very irritated right now. It's getting me very irritated. And the next complaint that I get, I'm just gonna delete it. That's it, and it's gonna be over with. I don't have time. I really don't have time. These these are grown people we're talking about. These are grown people. Don't want to talk about it. I've already addressed it. Don't ask me to talk about it no more, else I'm gonna get mad. And I'm gonna I'm gonna log in and I'm gonna delete the Discord, and it, that'll be the end of that. So, therefore, my wife is in place. She's the moderator for right now. She'll be moderating the Discord on the daily. I, I have way too much stuff. I'll pop in every once in a while. If anybody needs to talk to me, message me. Obviously, my wife will get it. She will let me know. 
and I'll get on there and I'll talk to you guys. Anybody who wants to talk to me, I am open 24 seven to talk to anybody. Okay. That's one of the perks. You can talk to me. You can kick it. We could play games, whatever, offline, online, member stream only, whatever the case, whenever we do them right now, I kind of put the member streams on pause because we don't have enough members right now to do a member stream. So once we get more members and stuff, and we have more and more people come into the member streams, then fine, then we can go back to doing that. But as of right now, the perks are you get to be on the friends list, you get to message or play games with me offline or talk to me offline or whatever the case may be, and giveaways whenever we do have them, we'll, we'll, we'll give them out. But other than that, man, I don't have time for the drama. So next major complaint about somebody going at somebody else and this it's getting deleted and it's just not going to be ever coming back. I'm sorry. It's just not going to come back. We're just going to communicate how we've been communicating on PlayStation or Xbox or something like that. I, I'm sick and tired of it. I don't have time for the nonsense. You guys know me already. Don't have time for it. It's not that serious. I don't know what the heck is wrong with people. I, I just don't get it. Done talking about it. Next. I don't want nobody messaging me, telling me no nonsense about no Discord or else it's going to get deleted. I'm so serious because you have you have mods in there and then mods coming to me complaining, saying, oh, so-and-so doing this and so-and-so saying that. And it's like, really? Really, bro? What is this, middle school? What are we in, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade? I mean, we acting like we, we, we are kids again or something. Like, bro, we, 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 some of us don't have time to be going back and forth, back and forth with each other. Like, it makes no sense. Golly, man. Man, I don't have time for it, man. I'm just getting mad right now talking about it. I don't want to just... Don't want to... I don't... I really don't want to talk about it no more. So annoying. So annoying. Don't want to talk about it. He said MBG had to delete his. It, it, got, uh, it got so bad. Oh, man. See? See what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, my God. That's what's going to happen. So if MBG, if MBG deleted his, if that is, if that holds any truth and MBG deleted his, then, yeah, I, I'm telling you, I'm not that far off from MBG because I'm, I'm sick of it, man. I'm, I'm so sick of it. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm literally tired. I'm tired. You know what I mean? Constant complaints. You know, if it's not mods reaching out to me, oh, Marlon, so and so is saying this. Ah, Lee, man. It's over 9,000. If you're not, if seriously, I'm so serious right now. Because if you're not going to come on here and add any sort of value to our actual streams, then just don't waste our time. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it, it's just negative negative if you're not going to hit that join button and become a and and become a part of something good and and try to make a difference in gaming and try to add some type of value to our community don't hit the join button i don't need i don't i don't need it that bad i'm just being for real if you if you if you really want to help out our membership you know by supporting us by hitting that join button fine but if you feel like you're you're gonna come in with drama and it don't even bother i'm i'm so serious don't even bother man I, I just don't have time for it i just don't thank you so much anonymous boss for uh becoming a member i appreciate you bro thank you because people spend their money and you feel like people who are members you know that spend their money on something you feel like they will show more pride into it but sometimes people just don't care they just don't care and it, it's sad to say it but it's the truth it's like, come on, man. Like, it, it's, it's time out for that shenanigans, bro. Like, it, it's just like, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I just don't know. You know, I don't know. That's why, you know, hey, I, I, I tell you guys, all that stuff is optional. Becoming a member, that's optional. You know, super chatting, that's optional. You know, like, it is what it is, man. You know, you guys want to support, you'll support me. You guys know I do this full time for you guys and anybody who wants to go above and beyond fine. I, I, I'll accept it, but just don't come in here with the toxicness, man. I don't have time for it, bro. I really don't. It says everybody telling you it's what I can't see what, what do you say right there? Everybody's telling you on what 
it's one person, doesn't matter if it's one person. I got a complaint before and it was another person. It was one person too. Doesn't matter if it's two person, three person, four person, five person. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You see what I'm saying? And don't tell me, um, um, what well, Cam, don't, don't tell me when to stop talking about something, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I want to talk about something, let me talk about what I want to talk about because it pisses me off. This is not the first time we've been getting complaints about the Discord. This is the second, probably the third time now I've been hearing complaints. The first time it was with Marty and some other guy stole his name. And then now it's this Zonex guy and Rich going at it. And then the, the next time after that, it was somebody else saying something crazy. You know what I mean? Man, listen to me, man. Listen to me. Like, this stuff pissed me off, man. It really does. This is the third time. It ain't just no one person, one person. It's multiple people talking and, and, and making this a thing. You know what I mean? It's so many complaints. Tired of talking about it. You know what? I'm done for today. I'm done for today because I'm done for today. That's it. Um, thank you guys for being here. Make sure y'all hit the like button um, and stuff like that. It says, I didn't see uh, when to stop, bro. It says, I'm grown just like you take comments the wrong way. No, 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 no. It, it's how you, it's not what you say, it's how you say it, uh, Cam. It's how you say it. You know what I mean? Like, you're just like, oh, uh, it, it, everybody is telling you it's just one. It doesn't matter if it's one person. It's annoying. That's what I'm saying. So don't tell somebody, oh, don't drag this on or don't drag that. That's, that's kind of disrespectful, man. Don't tell me when to talk and when not to talk because it, it's going to it's gonna come off the wrong way. You guys know me already. You guys know me already, bro. I don't have time. I don't have time for the foolishness. I really, really don't. You know what I mean? It's getting very annoying. It's one too many people. I mean, getting way too many. So that's why I'm ta still talking about it because it pisses me off. It's like we're grown and we can't be grown in a discord. Really? I'm done. Have a nice day. Hit the like button.